Well, Merry Christmas one last time on this Feast of the Baptism of the Lord. So today's feast day concludes the Christmas season for Catholics. Although there are some diehards out there that uh, keep their Christmas stuff up till February the 2nd. And if you're wondering what that is, that's the Feast of the Presentation, and that is 40 days after uh, Christmas. <clears throat> so for those who like the 40-day uh, biblical number for that occurs a lot of times, you could probably keep some of your Christmas stuff out until February 2nd. <clears throat> but technically, the Christmas season ends today at Vespers. So when you do an uh, evening prayer as priest or religious uh, or lay people, uh, Christmas comes to an end. And tomorrow we enter into ordinary time again. But it's a very compact season when you look at the combination of Advent and Christmas. It's really only uh, five or six weeks long, really depending on when Christmas falls in the week. You know, if Christmas falls really close to the weekend, the combination of Advent and Christmas really, on, really only ends up being about uh, five weeks. <clears throat> Otherwise, it's six, because here we are on the 12th and it's ending. And we started in December, so there you go. A little coffee. My good morning cup. So what are we celebrating today as we close out with the baptism of the Lord? That uh, Jesus is baptized by John, remembered in all the Gospels. And it this celebrates his uh, public ministry, the beginning of it. Now, of course, the next thing Jesus does after he is baptized is go out into the desert to pray. And he uh, discerns really his, his calling as Messiah. And Satan, of course, tries to interfere with that. Satan tries to tell Jesus, well, here's, here's what your ministry as Messiah ought to be about in terms of taking care of yourself first, in uh, seeking power, and... Uh, you know, abusing your relationship with the Father. These are all the things that Satan is trying to convince our Lord to do, and of course he fails miserably. But on the Feast of the Baptism, it's a, it's a wonderful little peek behind the curtain of the Holy Trinity. We have Jesus coming out of the water, we have the Holy Spirit descending like a dove, and we have the voice of the Father being heard. This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. And this is really where Mark's Gospel opens. It opens with the ministry of John the Baptist. And the really first significant thing in Mark is the baptism of Jesus. After, uh, it's right after John denounces the Pharisees and people from Jerusalem who are, who are coming to get baptized. And he knows it's a sham. They're not doing it authentically. And of course in Matthew, <clears throat> that you'll hear today, the church... John tries to stop Jesus. He says, you know, I should be baptized by you. John, John knows his place. And this has humility before the Lord. That was a great line yesterday. My, one of my favorite lines in scripture uh, from John the Baptist when they're, he's talking about the ministry of Jesus. He must increase, I must decrease. That, that should be a phrase that all of us pray on a regular basis because we want to, we want to decrease and we want Christ to increase in us. His life, his gospel, his mindset. That's, you know, what we're really looking for. So today, you know, if you got your streaming music up, like I do now, or favorite Christmas hymn, today might be with the uh, last day you want to play it so that you can uh, close it out until uh, whenever you start listening to it later this year. Maybe as maybe as soon as Halloween uh, or after Thanksgiving. I still prefer the after Thanksgiving thing. That's when my secular Christmas begins. And I, I try to make the most of secular Christmas and sacred Christmas as enjoyable as possible because it's a happy season. We're celebrating life. 
We're celebrating God coming to save us. We celebrate uh, this, this love which is hard to comprehend that uh, God has for us and God's desire to save us. That interesting white highlight there on the hat, huh? Anyway, the hat's going to be retired till uh, next Advent. So Merry Christmas, friends. Hope it's been a great season for you and Happy New Year.